I good evening everyone. So uh, this time of the year is once again come back when we have a result of another exam ready with us. And uh, INICT November 2024 result has been announced and I am very happy to share my screen with uh, Dr. Manav. Uh, Dr. Manav yes. is my junior from Mulanazar Medical College also and he is from batch 2018. And he has scored an amazing rank of 14 in uh, the you. exam that has been, uh, the result that has been announced today. Congratulations, Manav. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, sir. Yeah, this is the second congratulation that I am doing you for the, yeah. um, in the, before the counseling has happened, I congratulated yeah. you for the NEET also in which you scored 111 rank and now um, rank 14. So, um, Manav, first tell me that were you expecting this rank? Sir, kind of no, because sir, no one expects a top 50 rank. You like to expect that like you can get, but top 50, like no one expects. Malab, you don't keep your expectations high enough. Ki agar kuch kharab aata hai, toh lagta. But rank 14 was definitely not expected. I was expecting under 100 because when I saw the recall and calculated my marks and like compared it to the last previous INIs, under 100 was definitely sure, but under 20 rank was definitely unexpected. Like I almost my heart skipped a beat when I saw the rank. So <laughs> it was a great pleasure. So no, no, no. We are equally elated. And just for the viewers, uh, Dr. Manav uh, was a student of uh, Delhi Center of DBMCI. He was a foundation bad student with the uh, DBMCI who joined DBMCI in third year MBBS. And now in today's time, a lot of students think that what is the um, point. And Mana was a batch actually, which was hit by COVID. Uh, the student who used yes. to come regular to the classes and suddenly the COVID happened and who switched to the uh, live classes. So uh, Mana, you tell your journey that how you handled that COVID stress and then how you utilize and capitalize this opportunity of staying with the classes, how you maintain the discipline and able to get not just one, two ranks, 111 in the NEET and 14 in INICT. Now it's about you now. Uh, sir, initially when I joined DBMCI, the classes were happening offline only. So it like it was easy to attend them. Offline, they attend the discipline. But suddenly when COVID came and all the classes shut down, it was difficult to keep up with the classes because sir, ghar pe, there is like no such environment that you attend the class. Attend karo. You basically procrastinate each and every day. But sir, classes live regularly ho rahi thi. So it was like back of my mind ki kahi zyada piche na chhut jaye. So it was like ki dekhte raho, dekhte raho. And classes mein, well, aisa, like I didn't feel at any point of time ki we were not there. Like the teachers interact, like well, camera mein dekhi you guys interact so very well that it feels like we are almost sitting there. Like uh, asking questions in between of the classes, uh, asking every time whether you understand it or not, even though you cannot hear our answers that yes or no. But still you guys every time ask. So like online classes were very good. So, dheere dheere sir, discipline bana and at back of the mind, ye tha ki final year se pehle I have to complete all my notes, including third year and final year. So, within third year, a benefit was COVID was that ki I could see more than one or two lectures in a day, like by increasing the speed of the live. Uh, if I'm not watching live, I'm watching the recorded lecture. By increasing the speed of the lecture, I used to watch two or three lectures per day. So I was able to complete my third and final year subjects by the end of third year. I, I, I guess initially, initial few months of final year. So which helped me revise things. And at the same time, the test series of Bhartia started. So I started giving test series also. So it also helped me keep the discipline on. Like I used to complete some subjects, give the test for the same. Then the discussion also happened live on the class. So like it was a great interactive session all the time. So by the end of internship, then I joined the uh, grand test batch, TND batch, used to give grand test of RTS. So like after completing the subjects, revising thoroughly, used to focus mainly on MCQs, PYQs and the grand tests. So like COVID definitely hit us, but like, uh, like what at the end, what matters is key, like how important is the exam is for you. If you think that if you schedule, you will have to follow it and Bhatia definitely helps follow the schedule, jo unki life classes hoti hai, it's accordingly ki final year se pehle khatam ho jai, isi tarah schedule hoti hai life classes, ki aapko final year ke prof mein bhi ul help, mula bhaate ke notes se hi, jo bhi class notes hoti hai aapke, usse prof mein bhi help mil dhe, to isi liye tha ki final year se pehle I completed my notes, revised them, internship mein gave the test series and that's it. Yeah. So test series means T&D, you're talking about T&D, 
subject wise tnd also and grand tests also both subject wise i used to give in final year because i had time at that time grand tests i started mainly giving at the end of final year in the indian internship in the internship it's not well uh, i completed all my subject test at that time so i focused on grand test ki har do week mein grand test de do jisse ki year ke end tak aap log matlab you are at your peak Uh, manav i have another very important question for you uh, which i'm sure the lot of viewers wants to know you have got 111 rank in the neat exam and the result was already announced it's been more than 4 months almost 3 yes. half month and that was not a bad rank 111 you were getting almost everything that you want and how did you maintain that you have to study and you were still able to study and got a rank of 14 uh, sir initially after the postponement of need continuous postponement of need the burnout was actually real sir matlab my personal plan was not to give nict the the november one i was like so fed up of it the postponement and all but my parents they motivated me they said ki yaar thoda bahut pad le like it's only 2 3 months more whatever you can do just do and just give the exam it doesn't matter whether you will get the rank or not what matters is you just go and sit in the exam tune 5 saal padhai kari hai you will do good we know so what i did was ki i know i was thorough with the theory 111 rank means i was thorough with the theory i only needed to focus on the pyqs which is the main part of the aims exam they like almost 150 questions are from previous year topics so if you are thorough with the previous year topics 150 160 questions are easy to do so i mainly focused on pyqs didn't study for 12 to 18 hours daily jo main need se pehle kar raha tha jisse ki burnout hua tha like enjoyed also my, i also enjoyed my free time I but I did my PYQs my pre- previous year topics and which helped me a lot. So in three months, what helped me was my parents' motivation, my previous year topics. That's it, and my knowledge of three four years which I gained during. Yeah, so I feel that this is specific for the AIMS exam that a previous year topic in a slightly more depth. Yes. If you know yes, that you are bound to get a good rank and uh, um, the knowledge of the MBBS, the foundation years that you have built up, yes. it definitely adds. And this year specifically, when you look at questions. which were uh, uh, an in depth knowledge when they were going into the depth yes. uh, i mean doesn't matter that how um, i mean how much ratification that you have done and uh, um, any uh, facts that you have crammed up if your knowledge of the subject is not sound enough um, then probably uh, you will not be able to get it maybe uh, more ranks will get unfolded and we will be speaking more to the students and we will be knowing more about it uh, uh, manav uh, all every time the viewers want to listen to this um, nowadays there is plethora of the things that are available uh, what are the specific teachers of dbmci that inspired you or that have given you this feeling that yaar ye ho gaya aur wo fomo bhi ab mere ko nahi aa raha that yes now we are sorted so basically there were like many teachers like i cannot name but you like the all of them were so helpful like i just cannot point out but obviously you sir your motivating words like ashwini sir words like ashwini sir anatomy is motivated me a lot that i never could have imagined that someone could teach him anatomy so very well so he motivated me a lot uh, thameem sir's medicine classes were so good like in between he used to motivate a lot keep medicine around uh, not only about medicine about life also and each and every faculty of dbmci was there nachiket sir anu ma'am everyone was there to motivate us throughout even in covid times we were not left alone we were helped throughout then like that's it like each yeah. and every one of us i hope you helped in a different way and it was actually very good uh, manav um, uh, lot of student ask me this question and sir it is difficult to uh, specifically you are from mamsi i have done internship in mamsi i know how hectic it is so uh, it is very very difficult to maintain the rhythm with the internship in the mamsi so how uh, am i audible to you yeah 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 yes sir. yeah so it's very very difficult to maintain the rhythm during the internship in malana sat medical college so what definitely during that yeah so i mean i i can recall my those days so definitely. i know how difficult it was no matter you get a rank but it's it's scary so you you get a breakdown definitely. and then so how did you manage it sir initially during my internship i was in medicine only so like when i entered the internship body of surgery only i had a breakdown i literally cried yaar kya ho raha main na pad pa raha hu no no i am getting in person time i am only there in the body work work even though surgery is much better than medicine but still you don't get enough time to study 
but what i felt like during the surgery i was not ready much but it was really even the initial uncertainty man your voice is breaking your your voice is breaking uh, can you just check it sir is is it fine now yeah this is fine now yes ha ha ab theek hai sir even even in the initial months of internship if you are not able to study it's fine matlab initially you have to adapt even if you can make take out like one or two days in one or two months it's fine basically sir internship mein hota kya tha interns ka kaam kya hota aapko jaake reports leke aani hai aapko patient ko patient carrying vehicle way aapko patient transport vehicle to sir matlab aapko pata hai ye medicine se lekar वहां तक जहाँ पे रिपोर्ट मिलती है वहां तक जाना इतना लंबा रास्ता है तो आई टू डू चलते चलते एमसीक्यूज लगा लिए और थोड़े से वो वन शॉट मतलब जो वन शॉट आपकी पीडीएफ आती थी वो देख ली और नोट्स पढ़ लिए नोट्स के मेरे पास वो मैं फोटोज लेकर रखता था अपने कॉपीज के आई यूज टू की फोटोज ऑफ माई कॉपी नोट्स पढ़ लिए तो इनिशियली मेडिसिन सर्जरी में सर पढ़ना थोड़ा मुश्किल होता है बट वॉट यू कैन डू ड्यूटी से पहले जल्दी उठ के आप थोड़ा सा पढ़ सकते हो ड्यूटी में भले अगर आप लोग को नींद आ रही है तो डजेंट मैटर ड्यूटी में ऐसा दिमाग नहीं लगता ड्यूटी में आपको नींद आ रही है तो कोई कुछ नहीं सुबह जल्दी उठ के पढ़ सकते हो रात को अगर आपको रात को पढ़ते हो ड्यूटी से आके इट्स नॉट की रोज ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स होगी रोज ट्वेल्व आवर्स होगी कभी आपको ऑफ भी मिलेगा यू लैव टू प्लान इट दैट वे संडेज यूजल ऑफ होते हैं संडेज को एक जी टी डे रख सकते हो ड्यूटी जाने से पहले पढ़ सकते हो ड्यूटी से आगे पढ़ सकते हो ड्यूटीज में इवन यू आर एबल टू डू एमसीक्यूज ऑन दी वे जो भी आप पेशेंट शिफ्ट कर रहे हो रिपोर्ट्स लेके आ रहे हो एमसीक्यू कर फाइन पीवाई यूज कर लो उससे भी आई यूज टू कंप्लीट माय पीवाई क्यू ड्यूरिंग माय इंटर्नशिप ओनली चलते चलते क्वेश्चंस करके मेरे पीवाई क्यूज हो गए तो थ्योरी आई यूज टू डू लाइक बिफोर माय ड्यूटी आवर्स और आफ्टर माय ड्यूटी आवर्स विद इन द ड्यूटी आवर्स यस इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू डू थ्योरी बट एमसीक्यूज आर फिजिबल एंड जैसे रूरल पोस्टिंग्स होती है पीएसएम आर वेरी चिल तो वहां पे यू कैन लाइक कवर अप द रेस्ट ऑफ सो यू स्नैच द टाइम व्हेनेवर यू आर एबल टू गेट द टाइम यू आर एबल टू गेट एट के चलो यहाँ पे से पी वाई क्यू निकाल लो और यहाँ से ये ये चीज को कर लो या सो दैट इज वॉट ऑलवेज रिकमेंड टू द स्टूडेंट्स दैट सी अल्टीमेटली इफ यू हैव दैट विल टू स्टडी देयर विल बी टाइम वेर यू विल ब्रेक डाउन द टाइम विल बी हेक्टेक बट प्लीज रिमेम्बर द होल चार मेज दैट विद दैट हेक्टेक टाइम यू आर एबल टू टेक आउट दैट स्मॉल टाइम बिकॉज दैट स्मॉल टू आर आर इनफ टू गिव यू दैट नॉलेज दैट इज डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली गोना help you right um um one of last point uh, how did you utilize one shot sir basically uh, like whole notes like you study during your third year and final year only in internship you have to find a way ki everything is concise in a short like 50 60 pages and you will read it the most important thing which usually include well a one shot may basically pyqs the and what else can be asked they used to like you guys used to compile that only so you cannot read a whole notes internship mein so it's better to just read that one shot this make it you have like you ki matlab your voice is again not notes you cannot read that shit so it's better like to study one shot so i used one shot during my internship at the end of the internship just do my exam Uh, I wanted to revise all the nineteen subject within two weeks, one weeks. That yeah. Uh, Manav, yeah, last like last that. point. What is the message that you have for the students who are aiming? Uh, sir, your to... voice is not audible. Uh, I think it's a problem at your end. My voice is fine. Uh, is it okay to you? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. What is your message to the students who are aiming for a rank in the NEET PG twenty five exam? What is your suggestion to them? Sir, I'll first like to say that like read your main notes initially. Like be thorough with your main notes. Don't wait for ninety five to get over to start giving GTS. Give GTS as as you can. Like even if you finish half of this level, just give the GTS. It will help you know that the subjects you have done, how good you are at it. and baki subject ka theek hai if you get wrong it's fine then within 2 weeks read one two subjects then again give a gt and gt means ki usi time pe do when the actual exam happens 9 to 12 sunday ko gt de do you will have to simulate yourself because the exam environment and the environment in which you give gt is different 
So like try to give GT 9 to 12 only. Like don't wait for 19 subjects to get over to give GTs. Practice MCQs. Daily 50 to 100 MCQs, which includes PYQs and other MCQs also from the QBank. Do every MCQ. Read notes and at the end, do one shot or anything which you'll feel is good to revise. If, if you have made your concise notes from your notes only, you can revise that. Agar one shot person, then one shot revise karlo and do daily MCQs and give GTs. That's it. And like have faith in yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Manav. And once again, a big congratulations, not just to you, but to your entire family who has actually pushed you and motivated you so that you have reached to this point. And my blessings to you and a heartiest congratulations to everyone in your family. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.